Dangote Cement Group, the leading player in cement production in Africa, visited the Nigerian Stock Exchange as part of its financials. To cap this event, the management of the group, led by its group managing director, Mr. DVG Edwin, visited the floor of the Stock Exchange to perform the closing gong ringing ceremony. At the outset, let me thank you all for giving me this opportunity. We are here today to present the facts behind the figures about our company. Immediately after the closing bell, we'll be gathering together, and I'm sure we will be able to present to you what's the strategy and what's the vision with which this company is operating, including our expanding operations in Nigeria and overseas. At least, as you know, in sub-Saharan Africa, we have expanded to a very large extent, and we are now looking to a global expansion. We will be able to give you the details of what we are doing and how we are achieving our goals. At the event, Mr. Edwin commended the stockbrokers in the Nigerian Stock Exchange for their support to the brand and also restated the commitment of Dangote Cement to its expansion in its operations in Nigeria and overseas. I also I would like to avail this opportunity to, uh, to really uh, praise the executive management of the Stock Exchange team, especially if you see the performance of the exchange over the last three years. And the management team has taken a lot of steps to bring in transparency, to bring in confidence, and it has reflected in a very steep increase in the turnover. And it is uh, a really a great achievement from where we were before. And it has really helped the country and the economy to stabilize, to attract more foreign direct investments and investment into the stock exchange. And this will help us to build many more com companies because more of them will have the courage and the confidence to come and list themselves in the stock exchange. Thank you, management team, for having achieved your wonderful results. And I would also like to thank all the stock brokers because irrespective of the effort management made by the management team here, if the brokers are not actively involved and if you do not take innovative steps, obviously this growth could not have been achieved. Mr. DVG Edwin speaks further on the strategy and operations of the Dangote Cement Group, which is designed to create value in the economy and also for shareholders across the nation. Well, one of the a significant factors is our investments. Because if you see in Africa, in the past, nobody was willing to invest. There are quite a few reasons. One is people were very skeptical about the future. Number two, people were very un afraid of the unstable government policies and the problems of the infrastructure. We ourselves, you know, when, when we brought an equipment for one of our plants, we realized that that size of equipment could be moved with a low loader and there was only one low loader available in the whole of West Africa, which was booked for the next six months. So there are, you don't have cranes, you don't have big low loaders, so investments can come into several bottlenecks. So people were very hesitant to invest in Africa. So a local player has a major advantage because you know the risks and you can manage the risks. That's one key advantage for us, which has been pushing us to invest. Number two, most of the cement majors were all having huge surplus investment in Asia and the Far East. So they were primarily looking at small investments, cement terminals, cement grinding plants, so they were bringing all the excess cement and clinker from those countries and they were putting up and ter using terminals and grinding plants with very little investment. And in the cement plants, you take South Africa, except one plant and our plant which has come up now, all the plants are 30 years old. Take Lafarge, after our, we had invested, they have also come up with new plants. Before that, the, their plants were about 40, 50 years old. So people were not investing. So when we were put, on, put up new plants, as I said, our investment is focused on energy quality. So we are able to chunk out the best quality cement at the lowest cost. So that gives us a very significant competitive advantage. And the last one is the transportation, the logistics. We have invested massively in trucks. We have the ability to manage this logistics fleet. So that gives us significant, because cement is a cheaper product. The cost of transportation is very significantly high. So when you are able to manage it on our own, we have a significant advantage. 
It is expected that with the operations of Dangote Cement Group and the analysis on the projections, Dangote Cement is here to do real business and also create value for the economy.